In this video, we're going to have a look at how to calculate the gradient of a straight line from a graph. So to calculate the gradient, we can either use the formula of gradient equals rise over run, or gradient equals my y2 minus y1 value over my x2 minus x1 value. For the first formula, we can use when you're calculating the gradient off of a graph. For the second formula, where we have our two lots of points, we can use when we're calculating the gradient of a graph from a table of values or just from two sets of points provided to us. Now, when we're calculating the gradient, we are calculating the slope of a line. When the line is sloping upwards, then the gradient is going to be positive and the value of the gradient will be a positive number. When the line is sloping downwards, then the gradient is going to be a negative gradient and our value of the gradient will be a negative number. So let's have a look at an example calculation to calculate the gradient of a straight line. So in this example, we want to calculate the gradient of the straight line shown on the graph. So the first way we're going to do this is by using the formula gradient equals rise over run. And to use this formula, we need to select two points along our linear line. So I'm going to select this point here and this point here. So I need to work out how many I need to go up or down and how many I need to go across to get from my first point to my second point. So starting at the point on my furthest to the left and to go from this point up to my second point, I need to go up two squares. So my rise is going to be two. Then working out how many I need to go across. So again, starting at that same point, I need to go across two. So my run is going to be two. So to calculate the gradient, it's going to be two divided by two, which equals one. So the line has a gradient of one. I'm also going to calculate the gradient using the second formula. So gradient equals y2 over y1 divided by x2 over x1. And to do this, I need the coordinates of two sets of points. So using my same two points, it's going to be 0, negative 1 and 2, 1. So writing these points underneath, 0, negative 1, 2 and 1. And I'm going to go ahead and label each of those points x1, y1, x2, y2. So now going back to my formula and substituting in my values. So y2 minus y1 is going to be 1 minus negative 1. x2 minus x1 is 2 minus 0. So that's going to equal 1 minus negative 1 is 2. 2 minus 0 is 2. So 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So the gradient of the straight line using my second formula option also gives me an answer of 1. So the gradient of the straight line shown in the graph is 1. You also note that the straight line in the graph is sloping upwards. So you would expect your gradient to be a positive answer, which matches what we have calculated. So you don't always need to calculate it under both options. When you're using a graph, you can use one or the other. So that's an example of how to calculate the gradient of a straight line.